A Philippine environmental watchdog welcomes the signing of the nuclear energy deal between the Philippines and the United States. Clean Air Philippines Movement, Inc., in a statement Saturday by its president attorney Leo Alarte, MD applauded the signing of the much-awaited nuclear energy deal between the United States and the Philippines. The CAPMI president who is also a medical doctor and a trial lawyer said these 123 nuclear deal will be a major game-changer for our country in the next few years. We all agree with President Ferdinand Marcos, Jr. that this nuclear deal will bring about a more energy-secure and a greener Philippines soon. The so-called U.S.-Philippines deal for peaceful nuclear energy use was signed yesterday, November 17, 2023 at a side event during the APEC meet in San Francisco, California, by U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken and Philippine Energy Secretary Rafael Lotilla. This was based on Section 123 of the U.S. Atomic Energy Act of 1946 as amended in 1954 to promote private development of nuclear energy. The signing was personally witnessed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Olarte added, in order to effectively fight the worldwide climate emergency tormenting humanity today, we need to cut back drastically our voracious appetite for carbon-based fossil fuels for the energy needs of mankind. In the Philippines, a cleaner and greener energy source should be integrated soonest into the energy mix in order for our country to grow economically while minimizing the deadly health effects of carbon-based fossil fuels that dominates the energy use mix of the Philippines. Air pollution from mobile vehicles, factories, power plants etc. that use carbon-based coal and petroleum fossil fuels causes life-threatening respiratory and cardiovascular ailments in humans such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, heart attacks, and brain stroke, to name a few. An immediate shift to a cleaner greener energy source of electricity, such as nuclear power, nationwide will surely lessen the incidence of deaths particularly among our poor people who cannot afford the high cost of a decent medical care today. A 2018 scientific study done at Harvard University and released in 2021 found that fossil fuel-based related deaths accounts for one in every five deaths incidents worldwide. This means that 8 million people died globally in 2018 due to air pollution-related illnesses from various carbon-based fossil fuel emissions. Meanwhile, a 2022 local trade study showed that the current energy mix of the country is composed of coal, 30.2%, natural gas, 6%, renewable energy, 35.5%, and oil-based, 28.3%. President Marcos Jr. during the U.S.-Philippines 123 nuclear energy deal said that he is optimistic that nuclear energy will become a part of the Philippine energy mix by 2032.